All right, so welcome to the garage. We got the F525 here. We're gonna change the oil. Uh, we we actually have the owner's manual because we bought this one brand new. Uh, not too often we do that. So here's what's interesting. If you got the manual, you can go to page 50 and it shows you right here uh, how much oil to put in. So we're 525, so we've got uh, basically two and a half quarts of oil in there. So we're gonna warm it up. We're gonna put it up on blocks. We'll show you how we put it up on blocks. And we're gonna change the oil uh, so stay tuned all right so the first thing we do is start jacking it up drive them up on two by fours gives us a little more space underneath Once you got it up like that, you can see if you can get a oil pan, your oil pan on the and you can see that you can't quite get this one underneath. But we've got this low profile one. We can get that underneath. Easy. So let's go take a look so you can see where the uh, oil filler is, and we've got to get a wrench for that. All right, you see that brass right there? That's the drain. Now, when you loosen that, it's going to come out the bottom of that uh, that big T right there. Uh, so let's uh, get a wrench and let that drain. All right. So to drain your oil, you got to get this loose. So the best thing to go in here with a wrench, and it's hard to see, but you put this wrench on here and you turn that that way. And then once it's loose, you can turn it by hand. See how the oil starts coming out? And you want to watch because she'll overflow your little pan if you got a little pan. But you can see how that's draining there. Uh, you can see we turn that and see the oil draining there. Uh, we'll get set up for changing the filter and uh, we'll show you that. So again, partway through, I had to close that, pull my pan out and drain it. Back under. We know it'll take the rest of the oil now that we've drained that. So let's go uh, work on the oil filter. So we got this little baby oil filter wrench. Uh, you could use a bigger one, I suppose. What we're gonna do is break this thing loose. So we put this on here and uh, turn it counterclockwise. Kind of put this over here, pull this, push this down like this and should come off pretty easy usually and it does all right so now we got to back this pan up a little bit so that we don't have the oil uh, on the floor so we do like that we take this loose Ooh, there we go draining the oil so you can let that little little bit drain there Bring it out, there's the old oil filter. You can see where the old oil filter came off. Make sure you wipe this surface clean. You wanna make sure that uh, it's good and clean, you don't wanna get dirt in there. Oil filters I've been using are this one, uh, Parts Master uh, brand. Uh, there's the number uh, 613394. Uh, uh, there, you can see it there. So, uh, 
You get those at Lee Auto Parts, uh, or bumper to bumper, depending on what it's called by you. Uh, now, when you get your prepare a filter, I always pour a little oil in the top. Once I pour that oil in the top, I take my finger and I get the gasket all full of uh, oil. And then I put it on. Once it's snug like that, you want to get about three quarters of a turn on it. Now I can tell I got to go a little more. Lots of times I end up using my wrench because uh, I just can't get it by hand enough. So pull that tight. It's just hard to get in there by hand. You can see I'm slipping. I got oil on my wrench, but uh, get that clean. So after you tighten that uh, three quarters of a turn, which we'll try again here in a minute, I got to wipe the oil off my hands because I got it all oily putting it in. Plug that up. There, you can see we turn it a little. Okay, that's pretty good. We got, we got about half a turn, not quite three quarter, but that should hold it. It shouldn't leak at this point. Uh, we're almost done draining the oil, so let's go plug that up. All right, so you got to wait quite a long time if you want that little skinny oil to stop. Uh, Let's open this up, make sure it's open all the way. Yep, it's open all the way. Just got to wait a while. We'll come back. All right, so we're back after a while. There's still a little thin line of oil, but we're going to call this done and tighten this up. You can see that oil running down right there. Tighten this up. It should have it stopped. Gotta put our wrench on there and give it a snug. That's a valve, so you ain't gotta tighten it real tight. You'll feel it. You'll feel it move a little, and then you'll feel. It. Oh yeah, that's it. Doesn't go anymore. All right, so that's closed up. Not leaking no more. Let's go see where we put the uh, the oil in. One deer here. It's on this side. Take this out. Set the dipstick down. Put your oil. Uh, funnel in here tight and have to hold it. Let's put our oil in. We're just going to uh, get you up here so you can see it. Well, we know it's two and a half quarts. Well, we'll just start by putting in one quart. We did wipe our funnel out pretty good before we started. Whoa, see how she flooded up there? You got to put the oil in real slow so it don't flood up on you. Kind of watch that hole there. Where we're watching is right here where it wants to flood up, okay? Every once in a while, stop like this, see where you're at. You don't want to overfill this. If you overfill it, it's easy to turn that valve and drain a little out. So, almost. Yeah, we're pretty close. So, so we don't overfill it. What we're going to do is uh, get you off the, off the back of the thing here and put the dipstick in and fire this thing up.
make sure our dipstick is clean. Don't want any uh, dirt from the floor. All right, let's get you off of here and we'll get this thing uh, fired up. We'll run it for a few minutes and uh, check the oil out. I see you fell over while I was gone, but that's okay. We can uh, straighten out here. Just so you know. There you go. All right, so while we let that go down, uh, we can take this off, wipe it, wipe the oil off the stick. We want the stick to be uh, be clean. Now, when you put this in, you just want to seat it. You don't want to tighten it down. You can feel where it's seated, pull it up, look on the stick. It might be just a shade over full, but hard to tell, a lot of bubbles in it. You do it one more time. And you can see we're just a shade over. You look here, see where the full mark is couple letters over uh we'll let it sit a little while check it again if not we'll open that up and we'll drain just a little bit of oil out all right the other thing you want to check when you're done with this job is you want to check if your oil filter is leaking at all the hard part is when you bring this out you'll have oil on the floor and everything uh so you won't really know if you're leaking until you park on a clean spot but you can put your hand under here Kind of see if you got any oil uh, looks like maybe you got a drop but uh, could be from when we uh, took the oil filter off and put the new one on so let's uh let's get it off the blocks and drive it off and we'll see uh we'll see if we're leaking anywhere new we know we got an oil leak in the back of this engine a little bit uh from when we did our clutch we saw that so uh, let's fire it up and get it off the blocks Now we can see that we're clean under here. We're gonna see if our uh, filter leaks and drips on the ground right there. It doesn't look like our filter leaks at all. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Very good. All right. All right, don't forget like and subscribe here. Uh, you get more videos, that's how you change your oil. All right, the, the oil was on sale at Napa for $2.50 a quart. The oil filter was on sale. Uh, so it was like five dollars. So hey, for sixteen bucks, we got fresh oil in this machine. Can't beat that. Uh, do it yourself in your own garage. Save some money. Don't forget like and subscribe. Catch you in the next videos.